where to visit in Thailand, how to book hotel in Thailand. Bangkok has a hustling night of some of the best market shopping and is a backpacker hotspot. Plus, its historical sites and fabrical and culture make it a well-rounded and fascinating place to visit. The city has some of the most varied spices and tasty street food I have ever tried. Here is my ultimate Bangkok travel guide to help you plan your Thailand experience. How to book a hotel in Thailand that I'm showing you now. What to expect in Bangkok? Language. Thai is the local language, although all young people are taught basic English at school and many signs were written in English. Currency. Thai but is the local currency. Credit cards and banks. ATMs are common, while most places accept credit cards. It is wise to use cash where to possible as card fraud can be a big problem. Let's talk about climate. Bangkok is hot, humid throughout the year, with average highs above 90 degrees Fahrenheit and lows around 70 degrees throughout the year. April is the hottest month. September is the wettest and December is the coldest. The peak season. Rain is the most common between May and October, meaning most winters come between November and April. Culture. It is considered good to eat directly off a pork. It's customary to use a pork to push food onto a spoon and eat from that. Also, be sure to cover up your eyebrows and knees when visiting temples out of respect. Water. Don't drink the tap water. Stick to bottle, please. Now I am telling you where to visit in Thailand and how to book hotel in Thailand. Getting around in Bangkok. Getting around Bangkok is easy using the BTS Squiten and elevated train system throughout the city. Keep the rules in mind when planning your itinerary for Bangkok. Sukumbit. Home to the upmarket business center of the city and many of the most popular nightlife venues. You will also find the best places to shop here within Slam Square. Riverside. You will find most of the most luxury hotels scattered along the river offering stunning views and a good base to exploring most of the tourist attractions. Khao Saan Road. This is the back place center in the Bangkok. This is a back paper central in Bangkok and is home to some popular cheap hotels, a range of bars along with historic Parasuman Fort, one of the oldest remaining fortifications in the city. Unfortunately, the sky train isn't super accessible from this area, so keep that in mind.
Ratna Koshing, the old town. This is where many of the historic sites of the city are located, including the Grand Place and emerging Buddha statue at Wapo. Siam. Day to the day, this part of the city is a busy financial district, but at night, it transforms with vibrant and illicit nightlife. You can find great street food here, but you also might encounter some brothels. Dusit. The part of the city is where King Rama he built his sprawling Dusit place complex. The district is home to most of the political and administrative buildings of the government along with a wide range of museums and temples. Why to stay in Bangkok? Bangkok has a wide range of accommodations to satisfy any budget. If you are looking for a budget stay, check out hotels, hostels and rentals around Khao San and Bang Lampo, where public transportation is as connected in this part of the city. You will find more budget to mid-range options and lots of things to do. If you are looking for a mid-range to luxurious stay, I prefer the neighborhoods of Silom, Sukhumbi or along the river in Bangkok. Here are some of the top hotels in Bangkok and my favorite places to stay. Banyan Tree Bangkok, a luxury hotel at the heart of the city. The Banyan Tree has wonderful views from the rooftop restaurant, rajab rooms, an amazing health center and an outdoor swimming pool with its own great city views. Mandarin Oriental Bangkok, a spectacular luxury hotel and its own gardens, waterfront locations and some tastefully decorated rooms. The Mandarin is Oriental is a top and luxury hotel in Bangkok. Lux Languin Hotel. This modern boutique hotel will fool you into thinking it will break the bank with rooms starting at 50 US dollar per night. You can enjoy all the amenities you need in a sleek and comfortable space. It is also in a great location to walk to some restaurants and some bars. But it is slightly outside of central Bangkok, about a 50 minutes walk. Shangri La Hotel. This resort offers more amenities, restaurants, and services, and you could believe situated on Chao Pra River and just a short train right away from downtown. The Shangri-La Hotel offers a grand and luxurious stay. Oikod Swiss Bangkok. This modern and bright hotel has a beautiful terrace, garden and pool area. In addition to super comfy rooms, the view is stunning and the location is perfect for exploring plus they offer a continental breakfast and free wi-fi it's high rated for a season where to eat in bangkok
and the Thai night landed in today Bangkok has been voted for the best in the world when it comes to street food so you have to try some authentic dishes while you are visiting The best place to grab street food is from the local markets. High rated street food stalls or join a banquet food tour. If you journey Asian flavors, hearty and some spice, Bangkok will have it be to you. If it's your first time in Bang Thailand, I recommend trying some of the classic dishes like som tiam, khao soi. pad thai la masamen curry or penang curry i have outlined some of the best restaurants and street food stalls to eat from in bangkok street food stalls the fast food with countless food stalls and markets throughout the city you can come in bangkok without trying a few of the local flavors street food is a huge part of the local culture and something not to be missed i would be lying if i said i wasn't a bit intimidated by the offerings of street vendors upon arriving in thailand this street food guide will provide first time travelers with some insight into thai street and culture Some of the top street food stalls in Bangkok are here. Ran Chal Phai, female owned and the only street food vendor included in the Michelin star guide to Bangkok. This place is always busy but worth the wait. Nihom Ring Kong, plan to come outside of lunch hours otherwise you will be waiting in line for a while. Sukhumvit Swai 33 offering super Thai food at the greatest prices this vibrant area of the city is where many locals mix with visitors to grab a bite to eat before hitting the town <coughs> Lampo Chi Thai restaurant Lampo Chi is an hidden restaurant right along the Khoai Canal serving delicious Thai food, curries and more. I love the atmosphere here perfect for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Lampo Chi Thai restaurant is my favorite one, Thai and Asian. Pal, the house of Satron. Pali serves modern Thai seafood is one of the Bangkok's iconic landmarks. The House of Satron, which is a natural heritage building built in 1889. Pali's amazing reviews speak for themselves. Shirokko at Libua While the international and Mediterranean cuisine here is the speciality tasty. It is a little on the price of side especially by Thai standards but the amazing views is on the 63 third floor but make this perfect place to enjoy a cocktail or two Mango tree Mango tree offers great Thai food and a full menu of wine, beers and cocktails just steps from the bustling business district on Silom Road. Plus, the restaurant is surrounded by a great garden of ancient mango trees making for a special atmosphere. Nangin Gin Kui Bangkok Private Dining known by as the best dining experience in Bangkok. 
this small and cozy restaurant is in a city apartment offering some great view river views it really feels like you are a guest at a friend's house or for dinner it's the perfect place to place have a excellent thai food and meet other travelers now i'm telling you how to budget your money in thailand and thailand nightlife today Bangkok is lively, eccentric and traditional all in one. It is such a unique experience. There are a handful of captivate neighborhoods and hot spots to explore. Dishes to be eaten, stalls to shop and historic establishments to see. Plus, you will find luxurious shops, spas, hotels here. If you are into that kind of thing, here are the top things to do when traveling in Bangkok. Chatu Chak Weekend Market With over 15,000 stalls with Chatu Chak Weekend Market offers everything from clothing and counterfeit football shirts to fresh food and souvenirs. It's a great introduction to Thai shopping. Riverport Tour there is no better way to get a full tour of the neighborhoods in Bangkok than by taking one of the various sightseeing riverboat tours. <coughs> Ancient Siam Established in 1972, the Ancient Siam of the Siam city is large outdoor museum park shaped to reflect the map of Thailand and has beautiful representations of the country's oldest and most sacred buildings. Visit the Thompson House. The home of the greatest American entrepreneur in Thailand from the 1950s-60s, the house of the silk magnet Jim. Thompson is now a museum and is surrounded by beautiful natural gardens. Explore Bangkok's parks. The tropical surroundings of Bangkok are ideal for parks and gardens. The Lumhini Park in Siam are the largest in the city. Those around Para Suman Fort also offer a nice escape from the busy atmosphere of the city. Muay Thai The Thai national sports is more than just kickboxing. It is an amazing blend of martial arts and fighting techniques. Muay Thai matches are regularly held in stadiums around the city. There are also classes offered for those looking to learn the basics. Grand Place and what Po. After heart of the Bangkok's historic attractions, these spectacular buildings show the wealth and privilege and enjoyed old Thai kings. It also shows off some of the best agriculture and honored decoration in the country. Take a food tour. If you let the stomach dictate your travels, there is no better way to explore Bangkok than with a guided food tour. I can recommend Bangkok nighttime temples, markets and food tour enough you will get to taste some of Thailand's most iconic dishes and explore the city's private night markets. 
Amitas Thai cooking class. While most videos get to just taste the excellent Thai food, a visit to see Amit offers an insight into how to make Thai tasty Thai dishes. She also has a lovely half garden where fresh ingredients are picked for the dishes. Visit the weekend night vintage chain market. This is the best place to find vintage and pre-loved clothing and items in Bangkok. The Road 5 market has everything from antiques to vintage car parts and a great selection of street food stalls. People watch in Suai Cowboy. Some home of the seediest bars in the city. This red light district is near Sukumbit Street and has a range of bars and cafes. It's a great place to see the nightlife of the city go by. Bizang visiting the Chaturjog weekend market in Bangkok. Visiting the Chaturjog weekend market in Bangkok, Thailand is retail heaven as soon as I walking I just about died from excitement everything you could possibly think of is sold at this market so if you wanna bring some home a little something something definitely planned or coming here I get some mango and sticky rice put on my grim face and got to work here what you need to know about the Chaturjogan market in Bangkok. Chaturjog weekend market or Chaturjog market is one of the world's largest weekend markets and covers an area of 35 acres and more than 15,000 booths selling goods from every part of Thailand. The market has covered 2 lakh visitors each day, Saturday to Sunday, with 70% being Thai and 30% foreign. Almost everything can be found here at bargaining price, not a tourist price, and most vendors actually come from local factories or are local artisans. If you can dream it up, Chatujak market likely has it. Here you will be amazed at the incredible variety of goods where it's a Thai lantern, an antique painting, a stylish new pair of jeans or something more exotic, a new pet snake. I could not believe my eyes. You could buy a pet squirrel on a string nibble on some fried insects have a local artist hand paint everything you want take home a giant goldfish score some new leather kicks i would honestly have an easier time listing things you couldn't find here there are even companies to arrange international shoppings for big spenders i had some self-control and left with my Denity, some tinctures, and enough Thai bath to get me through the rest of my stay in Thailand. I highly recommend trying the food, mango sticky rice, in a particular fave. Hello, now I'm telling you about in Thailand video. Kopa and Gen. The 
ultimate guide to iron hopping in Thailand. Thailand is as expensive and you will find the iron hopping in the gateway. And in smart, the night of the full moon, thousands of people coming to the over over the part cake in the full moon party and dancing night long. Here is my ultimate guide to hoping in and by about Thailand. I hope you will enjoy my this video. And I'm telling you again the beginner's guide to the full moon party in Thailand about this new part. Have you heard the legendary stories of the infamous full moon party in Thailand? Whether you are planning a trip to engage in all the rivalry or you were just curious about what it's all about. This beginner's guide is for you. The massive party takes place on a stretch of beach on Kopa Engan, Kopa Nagan Island in Thailand. Almost every month on the night of the full moon, sometimes right before or after, thousands of people come from all over the world to partake in the festivals and dance until sunrise. Arguably the biggest and wildest party in the Southeast Asia. Sometimes with more than 30,000 people in attendance, there is no wonder why this party has gained such popularity. From what to expect, what to wear, and where you stay, and what the native person is the bigger guide to full moon Thailand party. I'm telling you again, this video is for where to visit in Thailand, how to book hotel in Thailand, how to budget your money in Thailand, and tip to spend your money in Thailand, and Thailand nightlife. What is the full moon party? First thing first, what is the full moon party and when did it begin? So the story goes that sometimes in the mid 1990s a bunch of backpackers threw a party on the beach the night of the full moon. Some accounts say it was a birthday party, others say it was just a good excuse for a party. A party is a party, right? Word spread and year after year. Party got to be bigger and bit crazier until it achieved its notorious status as a bucket list. Must for many visiting Thailand, where it doesn't have the same humble origins as it once did. The party is a huge festival like event with tons of drinking, debauchery, and everything that goes with it. Each bar blocks different music from their sound system and the beach is lined with alcohol vendors glow in the dark paint stands and fire dancers. While the party is quite commercialized and rowdy today, it's definitely a fun time. Where to visit in Thailand, how to book hotel in Thailand, how to budget your money in Thailand, tip to spend your money in Thailand, Thailand has life today, and Thailand budget cheap. While the party got any guesses? The party usually happens on the night on the full moon. Occasionally, the days have to shift due to local holidays. So, before you plan your trip, make sure to do your research ahead of time. That said, full moon party festivities are not restricted to one night. Usually folks will arrive a few days prior to the party and there are celebrations going on pretty much every night. More on that in a bit. The best time to visit in Thailand Koh Samoy, a neighboring island. Getting there, depending on where you are coming from, the two close islands to Kopangan are Koh 
Samui and Kotao. There are inexplicable ferries running daily between all the islands. The actual beach party is located on Head Rin Beach on Kopanan Island, which is one of the eastern side of Southern Thailand from Bangkok. The first way to Kopana is to take a short flight to Koh Samurai and catch a ferry to Thailand. There are also budget friendly overnight tours and pools options you can purchase from travel agents in Bangkok. As in all, there are so many travel agencies around Thailand that will help you book transport from wherever you are coming from. You can shop around to compare prices and see what fits your travel itinerary best. Where to visit in Thailand, how to book hotel in Thailand, how to budget a money in Thailand, tips to spend your money in Thailand, and Thailand nightlife today, 2022. Figure out what works best for you. After experience it, I would personally recommend finding accommodations on another island, catching a ferry to